Oliver had spent most of his life in a small, run-down apartment in the heart of the city. He had always been aware of the struggles that came with living in poverty, but it wasn't until one fateful day that he experienced a profound awakening. It was a hot summer afternoon, and Oliver was sitting on his worn-out couch, the faint hum of a broken fan offering little relief from the sweltering heat. He had just returned from another exhausting day at his low-paying job, where he felt unappreciated and stuck in a never-ending cycle of financial hardship. As he stared out of his cracked window, he noticed a group of children playing in the narrow alley below. Their laughter was infectious, and for a brief moment, he found solace in their joyful innocence. But as he continued to watch, a harsh reality washed over him. These children, too, were growing up in the same poverty-stricken neighborhood, facing the same challenges he had faced as a child. Oliver's heart sank as he realized that the cycle of poverty was not only affecting him but countless others in his community. He couldn't help but wonder if there was a way out, a path to a better life that he had been missing all along. That evening, after a restless night's sleep, Oliver made a decision. He was going to embark on a journey of self-awareness and mindset examination. He knew that he needed to understand his own thoughts and beliefs, as well as the forces that had shaped them. It was the first step towards breaking free from the grip of poverty. Oliver began his journey by seeking out books and resources on psychology and self-improvement. He realized that he needed knowledge to navigate the intricate workings of his mind. The local library became his sanctuary, and he spent hours there, devouring books on human behavior, mindset, and the power of the subconscious. One book, in particular, caught his eye, The Psychology of Possibility, Unleashing Your Hidden Potential. It promised to reveal the secrets of the mind and how one's mindset could shape their reality. Oliver couldn't resist, and he checked it out immediately. As he delved into the pages of the book, he learned about the concept of self-awareness. It was like a light bulb moment for him. Self-awareness, he realized, was the foundation upon which one could build a better life. It meant understanding one's thoughts, emotions, and reactions on a deeper level. Oliver's journey had begun, and he was eager to explore the realms of self-awareness and mindset examination. He knew it wouldn't be easy, but he was determined to change not only his own life, but also the lives of those around him. Little did he know that this awakening was just the first step on a transformative psychological journey that would lead him to uncharted territories of the mind. Oliver's journey of self-awareness and mindset examination continued to unfold, taking him deeper into the uncharted territories of his mind. The second leg of his psychological journey was aptly named the Mirror of Reflection. Armed with the newfound knowledge about self-awareness, Oliver began a daily ritual of introspection. He felt like an explorer peering into the vast, uncharted wilderness of his own thoughts and emotions. Each day, he set aside time to sit quietly, close his eyes, and turn his attention inward. As he delved into his thoughts and feelings, Oliver realized that he had never truly examined his own mind before. It was as if he had been living on autopilot, reacting to life's challenges without ever questioning his own reactions. This introspection brought him face to face with his fears, insecurities, and limiting beliefs. Oliver decided to take this process a step further by keeping a journal. He purchased a simple notebook and began to document his thoughts and emotions each day. It was a therapeutic exercise, akin to holding up a mirror to his inner self. The act of writing down his thoughts allowed him to gain a clearer perspective on his own mind. At first, it was challenging for Oliver to be completely honest with himself. He often found himself avoiding certain thoughts or feelings that were uncomfortable. But as days turned into weeks, he grew more comfortable with the process. He learned to confront his fears and doubts head-on. One evening, as he poured his heart onto the pages of his journal, Oliver had a breakthrough. He realized that he had been holding onto a deep-seated belief that he was not worthy of success and happiness. 
This belief had been ingrained in him since childhood, reinforced by the harsh realities of poverty. With this newfound awareness, Oliver understood that he needed to challenge and change these negative beliefs if he wanted to transform his life. He began by acknowledging his worthiness and repeating positive affirmations to himself daily. Instead of thinking, I'll never escape poverty, he started affirming, I am capable of creating a better life. The mirror of reflection had shown Oliver that self-awareness was not just about understanding his thoughts and emotions, it was about confronting the beliefs that had been holding him back. It was about breaking free from the chains of self-doubt and embracing a more empowering mindset. Oliver's journey of self-awareness was far from over, but the mirror of reflection had given him a powerful tool to navigate the intricate landscape of his own mind. As he continued to journal and challenge his limiting beliefs, he knew that he was on the path to a deeper transformation, one that would lead him out of poverty and towards a brighter future. Oliver's exploration of self-awareness and mindset examination continued to lead him on a transformative journey. The third leg of his psychological voyage was titled The Power of Perspective. Having confronted and begun to change his limiting beliefs, Oliver now turned his attention to the way he viewed the world around him. He had come to understand that his perspective on life played a pivotal role in shaping his reality, and he was eager to explore this further. Oliver started by seeking out new experiences and challenging his old ways of thinking. He began attending local community meetings and engaging in conversations with people from diverse backgrounds. He realized that there was much to learn from others and that their perspectives could broaden his own. One of the pivotal moments in Oliver's journey occurred when he met Sarah, a woman who had grown up in poverty but had managed to build a successful career as a social worker. She shared her story of resilience and determination with Oliver, emphasizing that success was not just about money, it was also about personal growth, empathy, and a willingness to adapt. Sarah's perspective on life deeply resonated with Oliver. He began to see that his previous outlook, which focused solely on financial gain, was limited. He understood that success could also be measured by the positive impact one had on others and the community. Oliver started volunteering at a local shelter, helping those who were less fortunate than him. This experience allowed him to gain a new perspective on his own life. He realized that he had strengths and abilities that could be used to make a difference in the lives of others, even in the midst of his own struggles. The power of perspective also led Oliver to a deeper appreciation for the concept of gratitude. He started a daily gratitude journal, jotting down three things he was grateful for each day. This simple practice shifted his focus away from what he lacked and towards what he had. It was a small change in perspective, but it had a profound impact on his overall mindset. Oliver's journey was no longer just about escaping poverty, it was about embracing a more holistic view of success and fulfillment. He understood that poverty was not a prison but a challenge, a puzzle waiting to be solved. And by changing his perspective, he could unlock new solutions and opportunities. As he continued to explore the power of perspective, Oliver realized that every setback he encountered was a lesson in disguise. He learned to view obstacles as opportunities for growth and adaptation. His mindset shifted from one of resignation to one of resilience, and he was determined to use his experiences to build a stronger foundation for the future. The power of perspective had given Oliver a new lens through which to view the world. He saw that life was full of possibilities, and that by changing the way he looked at things, he could change the world around him. His journey of self-awareness was far from over, but he was now armed with a powerful tool, the ability to shift his perspective and see the beauty and potential in every moment. Oliver's psychological journey of self-awareness and mindset examination had taken him on a transformative path, and now, he was about to delve into the fourth leg of his journey, the science of goal-setting. Having gained a deeper understanding of his own thoughts, beliefs, and perspective on life, Oliver knew that he needed a roadmap to guide him toward his aspirations. 
He understood that setting and pursuing well-defined goals was a crucial step in the process of turning his dreams into reality. To begin his exploration of goal-setting, Oliver sought out books and resources that could provide him with actionable insights. He became a regular visitor to the local library, where he discovered a treasure trove of knowledge on the subject. One book, in particular, caught his attention, The Blueprint of Success, Unleashing the Power of Goal Setting. As he devoured the pages of the book, Oliver learned that setting meaningful and achievable goals was a science in itself. It wasn't merely about wishful thinking but required careful planning and deliberate action. The book introduced him to the concept of SMART goals, goals that were specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Oliver took this concept to heart and began to apply it to his own life. He realized that vague aspirations like escaping poverty were not enough. He needed to break down his larger goal into smaller, manageable steps. With this newfound knowledge, he set about defining his goals in a way that was clear and actionable. First, Oliver identified his long-term goal, to secure a stable and fulfilling career that would lift him out of poverty. He then broke this goal down into smaller, specific objectives. He decided to pursue further education, develop specific skills, and build a professional network. With these objectives in mind, Oliver created a detailed plan of action. He researched local educational opportunities and enrolled in night classes at the community college. He reached out to mentors in his chosen field to gain valuable insights. He even started attending networking events in his spare time, determined to expand his circle of influence. Oliver's journey of goal-setting had given him direction and purpose. He understood that setting specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals increased the likelihood of success. Each step he took brought him closer to his aspirations and bolstered his confidence. To keep himself motivated, Oliver created a vision board in his small apartment. He adorned it with images and quotes that reminded him daily of his goals and dreams. It served as a constant source of inspiration, a visual representation of the future he was working toward. As he moved forward on his journey, Oliver knew that his goals would evolve and new challenges would arise. However, armed with the science of goal setting, he was better equipped to adapt and persevere. He understood that his goals were not mere dreams but tangible destinations waiting to be reached. The science of goal setting had become an integral part of Oliver's journey, guiding him through the twists and turns of his path toward a brighter future. With each goal he achieved, he gained not only valuable skills but also a sense of accomplishment and purpose that fueled his determination to overcome poverty. Oliver's psychological journey of self-awareness and mindset examination had taken him through the realms of introspection, perspective shifting, and goal setting. Now, he was stepping into the fifth leg of his journey, embracing resilience. As Oliver pursued his goals and aspirations, he encountered the inevitable setbacks and challenges that life often throws in one's path. These obstacles had the potential to deter him or even force him to give up, but Oliver had learned that resilience was the key to overcoming adversity. One of his mentors introduced him to the concept of a growth mindset, a psychological theory developed by Carol Dweck. It emphasized that intelligence and abilities could be developed through dedication and hard work. This concept resonated deeply with Oliver, reinforcing his belief that he could improve his life through persistence and effort. Oliver faced moments of self-doubt and frustration, but he remembered the lessons of resilience he had learned. He understood that setbacks were not failures but opportunities for growth and learning. Every challenge he encountered was a chance to test his resilience and determination. One particularly trying moment occurred when Oliver faced rejection after applying for a job he had set his heart on. He had put in hours of preparation and research, and the rejection letter felt like a devastating blow. But instead of succumbing to despair, he decided to use the experience as a lesson. Oliver sought feedback from the interview, eager to learn how he could improve. 
He used the feedback to refine his skills and approach. He also reached out to others who had faced similar rejections and asked for their advice. Through these actions, he was turning the setback into an opportunity for growth. As Oliver continued to embrace resilience, he learned to adapt and pivot in the face of adversity. He understood that resilience wasn't about being unbreakable but about being flexible and bouncing back from challenges. It was about having the mental fortitude to keep moving forward, no matter how slow the progress. One of his favorite quotes, which he had pinned to his vision board, was by Winston Churchill, Success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. These words served as a constant reminder of the importance of resilience in his journey. Oliver also found strength in the stories of others who had faced incredible odds and emerged stronger. He read biographies of individuals who had overcome poverty, adversity, and seemingly insurmountable obstacles to achieve greatness. These stories fueled his determination and served as beacons of hope during challenging times. Embracing resilience was a crucial part of Oliver's psychological journey. It taught him that setbacks were not the end of the road but opportunities for growth and adaptation. With each challenge he faced, he grew more resilient and better equipped to handle whatever life threw his way. Oliver knew that his journey was far from over, but he felt a sense of inner strength and determination that he had never experienced before. He understood that true resilience was not about being invulnerable but about having the courage to persevere and continue moving forward, no matter the obstacles in his path. Oliver's psychological journey of self-awareness and mindset examination had taken him on a profound odyssey through introspection, perspective shifting, goal setting, and embracing resilience. Now, he stood on the cusp of the final leg of his transformative expedition, the ripple effect. As Oliver continued to grow and evolve, he became aware of a powerful concept that the changes he was making in his own life had the potential to create a ripple effect, influencing not only his own destiny but also the lives of those around him and, eventually, his entire community. Oliver had come to realize that his journey was not just a solitary endeavor but a shared experience. His newfound knowledge and mindset had the power to inspire and uplift others who were trapped in the cycle of poverty, just as he once was. One day, Oliver was invited to speak at a local community center. His story of transformation, from a place of poverty to a journey of self-discovery and personal growth, resonated deeply with the audience. He shared his insights about self-awareness, mindset examination, goal-setting, and resilience. People in the audience approached Oliver after his talk, eager to learn more about his journey and seek guidance on how to embark on their own paths of self-improvement. Oliver realized that he had become a source of hope and inspiration for those who had felt trapped by their circumstances. Embracing the ripple effect, Oliver decided to take his message of empowerment to local schools, community centers, and neighborhood gatherings. He began conducting workshops and mentoring sessions, helping others tap into their own potential for growth and change. One of the key lessons Oliver shared was the idea that success was not just about financial gain but also about personal development and community upliftment. He encouraged individuals to discover their unique strengths and talents and to use them for the betterment of their neighborhoods. The impact of Oliver's efforts began to ripple outward. Those who had attended his workshop started making positive changes in their own lives. Some pursued education, others developed new skills, and many began volunteering in their communities. Oliver's journey had not only transformed his own life but had ignited a spark of possibility in others. It was as if he had thrown a stone into the still waters of his community and the ripples of change were spreading far and wide. The ripple effect also extended to his own family. Oliver's younger siblings, who had looked up to him as a role model, were inspired to pursue education and personal growth. They saw in him the living proof that circumstances could be transcended through determination and the right mindset. Oliver's parents, initially skeptical of his journey, 
began to see the positive changes in their son's life and started exploring opportunities for their own personal development. The entire family was on a path of growth and transformation. As the ripple effect continued to spread, Oliver's community saw a gradual shift in mindset. People began to believe in their own potential to create positive change. Local organizations started initiatives to address issues like education, employment, and community development, inspired by Oliver's example. Oliver's journey had transcended his own life and had become a catalyst for change in his community. He had come to understand the immense power of one person's transformation to create a ripple effect of hope and empowerment that could uplift an entire neighborhood. As Oliver continued his mission, he knew that his journey of self-awareness and mindset examination was not just a personal endeavor but a shared commitment to building a brighter future for all. He had seen firsthand how the ripples of change could grow into waves of transformation, and he was determined to keep the momentum going, one ripple at a time.